June 23rd, 2022, Eric Halusik with All Corners Home Inspections. This is the attic evaluation for our single family home here in Portland, Oregon. As with all the videos in this report, we would request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. A few reportable challenges were noted here in this uh, truss framed attic space. First, we'll note that we have um, compressed fiber board or MDF used as platform material here in this attic space. This material is kind of dangerous in that it gives you the sense that uh, this is material that you could walk on uh, when in reality it's not really a load-bearing surface. This is used for you know, inexpensive furniture and for vertical sheet goods uh, that doesn't, it doesn't really have any sort of load-bearing value or, or like shear value. Uh, we'd recommend replacing this material should you choose to want to walk up in this space. recommend replacing this with an oriented strand board or a plywood sheet material at least half inch. Probably better three quarters of an inch in thickness. We're going to approach the front portion of the structure. We're area, at the area above, kind of the garage space. Uh, I have an area of at least historic leaking. My moisture meter is indicating that there's no moisture present currently, but these attic spaces dry out very quickly in these uh, warmer weather months. Uh, so stainings present at this uh, sheathing material here. And then corresponding stains are actually been notated at the area below uh, that space on the framing here. That's an indication that water may have accumulated at the at, at the roof line and then dripped down uh, dripped down below. There's no staining on the on any other areas, but we'd recommend an investigation by a licensed roofing contractor with experience in managing uh, cement tile style roofs. Shift our attention to the right hand side of the attic space now, where at the uh, right hand side of the structure we're making notes of widespread organic growth uh, signs. Uh, these are signs that uh, mold or mildew may be accumulating on, on the uh, roof sheathing in this case. You can see that uh, sort of white powdery shunt substance there uh, impacting the, the, the roof sheathings three sheets above the uh, soffit. Uh, that is maybe the most severe area, but then more areas have also been noted along with isolated areas of staining uh, along the uh, entire right hand side lowest section of this portion of the roof line. Recommend these areas be tested for organic growth and then uh, treated accordingly and then of course make sure that we identify what the condition was that uh, created a, a moisture imbalance uh, where a mold might occur. Eric Holduzic, All Corners Home Inspections.